Well, good afternoon. Hey, I was uh, actually speaking with somebody today, and I and, and I said something, and after I said it, I said, you know what? That's something I want to share with, uh, with, with with everybody. Um, so that's why I'm I'm here today. Um, so if you think about it, right? When it comes to your relationship, and I know uh, I know not you, but maybe somebody that you know is uh, in in a little little turmoil. Maybe from a mental from a mental perspective, they're going through a couple of things, right? In their relationship, uh, maybe they are uh, you know looking at a divorce. Maybe they are um, looking at. Uh, just things aren't operating correctly inside of the marriage from a love perspective, from a communication, from a, you know, from a, there's a multitude of different things that can occur there. And, um, you know, they said that they've been going through some things for a while and that they haven't, you know, reached out to anybody or they haven't said anything. And here's the thing, when you're going through something, a lot of times, sometimes we get a little, uh, a little secluded, we go, go into our, ourselves, right? And we're just letting our mind race, run. I mean, thoughts just firing off all during the day, right? And I want you to be cautious of that, all right? Because, and, and you've heard me say this in other situations as well, that you can't use the same brain that got you into the situation to get you out of the situation. A lot of times if there's help, there's, uh, there's other um, people or seminars or workshops or whatever that we should be going to. Right, and I want you to stop and think about that for a second because just like the doctor, a lot of times we don't go just for a regular checkup, right? And then all of a sudden something happens, and you know, one of the things we'll hear is, you know, this could have been caught sooner if you had, if we could have got some medication for, it and it would have prevented the second or next phase or whatever that had happened. And you want to think about that with uh, the same thing when it comes to your uh, with, to your relationships. And let's think about it like this, right? Every single day, hopefully, but well, every single day you bathe, right? Okay, why is that? Because you're walking around in public, uh, you know, outside, getting outdoorish, right? You know, that's the southern word, getting outdoorish, uh, and and you're getting dirt on you, right? Okay, and so you know the oils and juices and berries be, uh, well, not berries, but you know what I mean. You know, you're getting dirty, right? So you got to come home, right, and take a shower, right? All right, or at least before you go to work in the morning, you take a shower and you wipe that dirt off, right? Let's think about that, okay? When it comes to your mind, your mind gets dirty every day from the things that you see, the things that you hear, the people that you talk to, the TV shows, the television that you pay attention to too often, and, and you are getting, and so you're getting bombarded with all these messages. And most of them are the wrong ones from a life progression perspective, right? And then you're talking to your significant other or um, maybe the person that you're involved in the problem with from a relationship perspective or your friends that don't have enough sense to give you the guidance that can actually uh, push you forward in your relationship, right? And so because of that, you have to be guarded and pay attention that you also need to wash your mind every day. Because it gets dirty, and I, and that's why what you're, you're listening to and 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 the people that you're talking to, you have to be very cautious of that. And that's also the reason why, even if you can't do it daily, my recommendation for you is 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 at least you know quarterly or monthly or whatever that you need to be going somewhere in addition to church. Because I know some of us think that just because we go to church on Sunday, like that's enough. Okay, that's not enough because most of us are not even paying attention to the message there. But we'll we'll go to, go. You know, talk about that another day. But um, so you want to make sure that you have your, yourself in the presence of particularly, you know, those of us who are married. You know, you have made one of the biggest business and emotional decisions that you can make in life. So you should be wanting to have these ongoing sessions, um, seminars, workshops, whatever, that can wash your mind clean of some of the filth that you put in there. And that has been, you know, consciously and subconsciously added in there as well. So I want to, um, you know, recommend that to you. Um, and, you know, whether it's a workshop that I'm doing, whether it's a workshop of somebody that you know, you need to be putting that into uh, your brain to allow yourself um, to have the right type of information being filtered through because it's happening 
all day, every day, constantly, subconsciously, and it's important for you to make sure that you're putting the right information in. So don't just sit there with the same brain. Let's go get um, some some mentoring, some help in, in, in these areas, and that's going to help us, all right? And for those of you who are located in the Charlotte area, all right, uh, you can go actually go to an event, right? There is actually Intimate Conversations with Marjorie, and uh, I'm actually one of the, the, uh, the guests that's going to be speaking there this weekend, this Saturday, on the 28th. Uh, from 6 to 9 p.m. So go to Intimate Conversations uh, with Marjorie. Uh, and that's for everybody who anywhere near the Charlotte, oh, look at the great rain, in the Charlotte, uh, North Carolina area, okay? Let's make sure that we're putting ourselves in a situation where, uh, you know, we're able to gain some knowledge. If you, if you have a chance of coming to that workshop, when I tell you that there's a lot of diving in that we're going to go into, uh, to my uh, newly released manual, Understanding a Man, uh, we're going to you know, kind of tear it apart and just really share some intimate details and conversations and some things that you are running into um, inside of relationships. And it's going to be something that's going to actually strengthen and help enhance uh, what you have going on right now. And even if everything's great for you, that's awesome. This can also be some relationship maintenance for you to make sure that you're not running into certain situations. All right. So let's uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to see you. In, uh, in, in Charlotte, if not, please make sure that you're continuing to wash your mind with information that's going to allow your relationships 